everybody. You know, I've been asked this question several, several times. What if the shit hit the fan never happens? Well, to me, I'm preparing for a disruption in my everyday life. So, I mean, even though I talk about SHTF all the time, really, SHTF is happening right now for a lot of people. I mean, there's people that don't have jobs, that's been on unemployment for God knows when, and that's done run out. They've sold everything they've owned to, you know, try to make ends meet. So really, SHTF is here for a lot of people. Because it, because it ain't happening for you, doesn't mean that it's not happening. Just like it, if it ain't happening for me, doesn't mean like it, you know, doesn't mean that it isn't happening. So, I think that what if SHTF never happens is kind of far-fetched because an SHTF is a lot of things and it can happen any time, any day, any minute. You don't get a warning, but it all depends on what you consider an SHTF to be. Now, to me, SHTF would be losing my spouse, having to do it on my own. Thank God that my kids are are of age now where they can take care of themselves. But if they were little and I had to do it on my own, I would have to, you know, I would have to work around not having my spouse, my wife. And if something was to happen to me right now, she would have a hard time or if we lost our jobs or became severely ill or anything not a meteor hitting the earth or you know a volcano super volcano eruption which of course that would be a shit hit the fan situation but it's nothing you can do if something like that happens because what are you going to do i mean you, you don't have a force field around you or your stuff or your family I don't know about you, but running to live underground is not the kind of lifestyle I want to live. You know, I want to be able to go cruising on an old, old back road or, you know, have a few beers and laughs with friends, go fishing, hunting, shoot guns. I don't want to be stuck in a hole under the ground. Who wants to do that? Even though you and your family surviving, but are you really surviving? Are you really living life? See what I'm saying? So. To say that, what, what if, what would you do if SHTF never happened? I don't look at it like that. I mean, you know, the stuff that I have, you know, the food, I eat it. It's like having a grocery store at home. You know, if something happens, snowstorms happen, bad floods, rain, hurricanes, tornadoes, things like that happen. If I didn't use it on myself, I could help somebody with it. You know, if my son loses his job, and he's got to take care of, of the grandbaby and his girlfriend. You know, I could pitch in. I could, I could give him food. If my daughter loses her job, which I hope she don't, she, she works at the hospital, she's a nurse, but still, it could happen. I can help out with them. You know, maybe I can't pay their bills or something like that. I can, I can help them out with food. So I don't waste anything. And if, 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 Worst case scenario, I'd rather throw it away than have to be in a shit hit the fan situation. You know, I'm just a normal person, just like you. You know, we we put our pants on the same way. And there, those of us who wear pants, <laughs> I better re-say that. Uh, anyway, you know, it's to me, it's never been about living in fear or or being afraid not having this or not having that. It's never been like that to me. It's never been af being afraid. I, ne I never have been afraid of, a, of, of anything like that. Look at this, look at that beautiful view. Look at that. Oh man, I'm going fishing down there. Anyway, you know, that's all I wanted to say. It's not a waste. I mean, like I said, worst case scenario, I can take care of somebody else. And you know, I would want to think there's somebody else out there that if I had hard times, would take care of me. 
or help me out, not take care of me, but help me out. And that's the way we all should be thinking. Now, there's a lot of people out here that wouldn't spit on you if you was on fire. They wouldn't care. But that's on them. And those are the type of people I'd probably help. <laughs> that's ironic, isn't it? Anyway, you know, if a SHTF never happened, I would be so glad. That's more time for me to live life and enjoy my life enjoy my grandson I mean right now he he means the world to me and for me to have to pull my family through a SHTF situation and to have to worry about his safety and the safety of my family is not something that I really want to do I can I can protect them I don't have a problem with it I'm prepared for whatever I'm at a point at my prepping that I'm just beginning to try different things now you know I have food and I have supplies and I have this and I have that now I'm done with that I just want to I just want to enjoy life you know and not worry about anything you know I see the headlines you know like right now the West Nile virus and the things like that and it's things you have to worry about in life and take precautions for but to worry about what if something didn't happen not so much Thanks for watching. Hope I didn't bore you to death. Just took you for a nice little ride through the mountain here. It's beautiful, beautiful country. Y'all have a nice day. See you in the next video.